Hey, Nona, this, this question has come in. I, I love it. It's a, it comes from a healthy place. This person is aspiring to live life at a higher level, and it's all about comparison. They're saying, I want to avoid that comparison trap, mm -hmm. uh, but um, what do I do to find that kind of comparison to kind of come at it from the right way? Because there's value, right? Mm -hmm. There's a mental stick in life. We're all mm -hmm. like our, with our siblings and with our mm -hmm. peers. We're all kind of comparing each. So, so how do we do that in a healthy way? I think is the question they're posing. I love this question. Yeah, because I mean, comparison is actually neutral. It's natural. Um, it's something that we do as humans. Look, we have eyes. We can see difference. Uh, we have ears. We can hear people complimenting other people. So it's just natural uh, to compare. But there's two ways that comparison is expressed. On the one hand, uh, when we see someone else and they're you know they're crushing it, they're doing a great job. And we feel invigorated by that. That's inspiration. So comparison can lead to inspiration. But when we see someone else and they're succeeding and things are going well in their life and we start to feel like, man, we're a failure by comparison, then that is expiration. That's not a good thing. I think the yeah. way that we live a life uh, that is inspired is we learn to see other people, other relationships. We learn to see those as uh, what's possible for us. And it yeah. becomes almost like a guidepost. Man, if, if they can be, if they can thrive through this challenge, we can too. And let's find a way yeah. to do it. Yeah. I, I think even when I was just learning to write books and Leslie and I were writing, you know, like saving your marriage before it starts and stuff, we would go into a bookstore and I would be inspired. I think, look, if, if all these people could write books, we can write books, mm -hmm. you know? And my, I remember my editor said, most authors that are aspiring to do that, go into a bookstore and go, everything's already been written. <laughs> I can't ever write a book. So it's really a personalized thing too on what you find inspiring and what you don't, correct? Yeah, it, it really is. And I think it's just about the posture of our heart. You know, some of us, you know, social media is often blamed for causing insecurity, but the truth is two people can see the same post. One person can walk away from it inspired. Another person can walk away expired, right? So it really is a question of our heart and just making sure our heart stays open to what's possible. Love that. Inspired or expired. Nona Jones, you're the best. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thanks for having me.